سلام علیکم و رحمت الله و برکاته الحمدلله tonight we are going to talk about uh, thanksgiving and uh, we're going to have inshallah our brother um, join us soon I'm waiting for brother Jafar Sheikh Fayyaz to join us and we are going to start soon inshallah so can we officially say um, happy thanksgiving or not yet did you guys see the moon for thanksgiving or you didn't see it yet alhamdulillah so Sheikh Fayyaz is joining and uh, he's gonna be with us tonight so we're going to talk about gratefulness and bismillah Assalamu alaikum Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah Sheikh Fayyaz How are you Sheikh man? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, everything is fine. How about you? Good, good. So nice to see you. Nice to see you too. Alhamdulillah. I see your little one in the Alhamdulillah. background. Yeah, say salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. How are you, Chef? Are you doing okay? Alhamdulillah. Yeah, everything is fine. I was just saying that, can we officially announce that the moon of Thanksgiving has been sighted? <laughs> Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. I see the fault. Hopefully, hopefully we don't have any issues or drama this year. Inshallah, Inshallah, you looking forward to the holidays and Thanksgiving? I do. Family? I do actually. I do. I mean, especially during this pandemic, um, it's 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 difficult. Funny, I was talking with one of my friends, and he was saying that this year we're gonna have a special Thanksgiving, and I'm like, what? He was saying like. It's because we are going to have a lot of turkeys these day, this year because we don't have guests over, so That's the right. turkey is only for All us. All for us. <laughs> so. Yeah, you know, you know, this whole whole experience, uh, without a doubt, over these last how many months now, eight months, uh, has really taught us uh, that there's a lot to be thankful for, right? And that this life is very fragile, and that uh, it's very transient, and uh, we're so blessed and privileged with so many different things. Uh, what else can you say? But you know, Alhamdulillah, wa nashkur Allah, wa nahmaduhu, ala kulli hal really, um, and that uh, Allah subhanahu wa taala is great. That there's so many people who are undergoing, you know, so many obstacles economically, financially during the course of these days. Uh, these days, you know, are, are a good opportunity for us to also be introspective uh, and reflective about um, everything that we should be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa taala for. You know. Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Yeah, I think the, the issue of Thanksgiving is just very important. And I, this is actually something that we do every day in our life. And um, so, Sheikh, how, how do you do? How do you practice Thanksgiving in your life? How do you practice shukr in your life? Like in your personal life, I mean. What are some of the things that you are thankful for? Yeah. Thank you. I mean, I think, I think, you know, the first time when I really, really understood what gratitude and thankfulness uh, meant uh, has been, you know, was, was, was several years ago when I, my older daughter, who you just saw a little while ago, Zainab, uh, keep, keep her in your da'as, we were, I was teaching her prayers. And of course, you know, she's standing and bowing and prostrating and, you know, you know, picking up the turba and the, and the, and the prayer beads and all of these things. And uh, one thing that I would always get her to do was after prayers, like I was taught from my parents and they were taught from their grandparents, is after you complete your prayers, you know, you go into prostration and you, you know, say, thank you, Allah, say, you know, shukran or whatever. So I was telling her, you know, to say it also, and she would go and do it. And then, you know, one day, maybe she was three years old, she said, Baba, why are we saying thank you to Allah? And uh, when she asked me that question, I actually started to realize how much in my life I was so, um, you know, performing this, performing this as such a routine and never actually 
being mindful of what it is that I'm thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for. So since that day, you know, and my kids have taught me so much about what it means to be thankful and about really how to understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala more than anyone else um, that I've ever experienced is that it allowed for me to actually be thoughtful of certain things that I was thankful for. So now when they are praying around me, I'll always tell them, you know, what, what, why are you saying thank you to Allah? So they'll say, I'm thankful for mama and I'll thank, I'll thank for, for my mom and for my dad and for the food and for the house and for these toys and for these things. And I began to realize that, you know, we take all of those things for, you know, for granted exactly. so much to the extent that as adults, even though we tell our kids to be thankful for them, when is the last time that I was ever thankful for, you know, the sun? When was I ever thankful for heat? You know, in the famous du'a, like, you know, better than I, Imam Zain al-Abidin, he says, Alhamdulillah, alladhi ja'alani ashtahi. Oh, Allah, thanks be to you who has, you know, given us the ability to crave food. <laughs> you know, we all love to eat, especially during the holidays. It was like that craving that we have for food, like that itself is something to be thankful for. So really, there's yeah. so much, you know. Sorry, go ahead. No, I just wanted to say, I think we have some sort of an attitude that, we are thankful only the times that na'mah and blessing is only for us. And if a blessing and a na'mah is for everyone else as well, we basically don't feel the necessity of being thankful. So for example, what you said that, okay, we are just having the appetite, right? We don't feel special about it, so we are not thankful about it. It would be, it would be like, you know what? mom cooks food for us or dad cooks for food for everybody and and we come around the table and what happens is that okay no one says thank you baba or thank you mama why because you you gave food it was not only for me it was yeah. for everyone in the family you reminded me of the of the of imam sajjad alayhi salam when he is yeah. thanking allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for things that are shared. Like, I remember him talking and thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the sun. Like, imagine, like, how positive pers is the personality of Muhammad Sajjad alayhi salam when he comes out, and this is a dua that he was reading, he was reading regularly. He comes yeah. out and he looks the sun and thanks Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala because he has given us the sun, because yeah. the day exists, because the night exists. Yeah. You know, just waking up and having these things. You know, and thinking about those blessings, really, they do so much, right? Without the sun, there's no heat, there's no light, there's no energy, there's no photosynthesis, there's no grass and there's no trees. And how am I going to eat nice kebab or how am I going to eat with the cows? <laughs> yeah. right? Really, there's like a chain to everything that we are in a state of gratitude mm -hmm. to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for. You know, and the smallest things, you know, there, there are people... Um, I remember I remember sort of reading one tafsir of the Quran and it made me think so much that being thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for something as simple as being able to, not even being sarcastic, but being able to use the restroom. When other people, you know, it's painful for them to do that, you know? Right. Right. And that, that, that itself is a blessing that how many times did I ever thank Allah? You know, when you get a fever or when you know, have a little bit of injury on your toe or on your finger or on your foot, something so small, mm -hmm. and then you realize like, oh my God, like, I never was thankful for, you know, for all of these things. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Exactly. So you know great. what, what I, th I think what's happening here is that uh, we are so much focused on the immediate cause of things that all of the other chain that you mentioned that prepares things for us, we, we forget it. There is a poet in Farsi which says, Aprobado maho khurshidu falak dar karan toto nani be kafari yo be ghaflat nakhori exactly talking about the same thing it says that the cloud the sky the sun everything in this universe is working our chain or the background music for this blessing that you have today and you kind of kept keep forgetting it because it's just kind of a background in in in, in our eyes and i think just the ability for us to be able to change that background to foreground music and being able to to see those blessings, I think is, is, is something that we need to reflect on these days. So, so what do you think are some things that we can do then to actually you know, be mindful of those blessings that are in front of us? Um, oh, thank you for asking this. You know what, I think, I, I mean, I, 
this, there's a there's a practice that we all do, but for me personally, um, honestly, I think that um, I have been practicing this, and I think it's a good idea if um, to share it with audience with with all of us around here here, and that's the tasbihat Hazrat Fatima to Zahra Sallallahu Alaihi. This is such a nice, beautiful ritual that we do it every day after each prayer. But sometimes we are not able to connect and identify with it. Sometimes we are not able to relate it to our everyday life. So sometimes that I'm not saying I do it every day and every time after each prayer, but when I do it, I try to connect it to my day. So for example, when I go over the 33 Alhamdulillah, I literally try to see those ham and see those blessings and then say alhamdulillah. So alhamdulillah for for the for the health that I have, for for the kids that I have, for the for the safety that that we have, for the good teachers that we have, for the financial st stability that we have, for all of these literally numerous positive positive and, and blessings that we have around us so so that's a, that's a practice that I, I have been sometimes um doing and i think it's it's such a su such an important ritual for us if you are able um to count imagine if i'm not feeling good one day and or someone is not feeling good if someone is like depressed, is not in a good mood. Imagine that person coming and sitting down and actually counting 33 blessings of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him or her that day. I you am change sure your perspective. After, yeah. yeah, after that, after that 33 counting uh, like of blessing, he or she will feel the difference, right? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah, it's yeah, no, it's a beautiful practice. Again, I, I would agree with you that, you know, when you start being thankful and start to count the blessings that you are afforded, even in spite of all of the obstacles and difficulties that any day might present you, it sort of um, humbles you a little bit, right? And that's why I think that living, you know, in the midst of these days and this pandemic that we're sort of undergoing, like, what what is it taught? Like, you know, like, you know, what is it taught me about Again, like the fragility of my life and what I should be thankful, you know, for. It sort of helped me individually, and I'm sure many, many others as well who are viewing that, you know, my family is like the most important thing in my life, you know, and that spending mm -hmm. time with them as much as I used to love to go and, you know, travel and visit different communities and, you know, do all, you know, do, do things sort of independently. And, you know, I, I always, you know, I, or, or I didn't appreciate individually, you know, personally, I didn't appreciate like that, that really close time with my kids because I was so busy many, many a time. And now I say, you know, alhamdulillah, like at the, at the very least, you know, that that time with my kids. Now, even if I go out for a walk for 15 minutes and I come back, they, 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 they come and they hug me and they kiss me and they, you know, tell me, you know, why did you leave us and where did you guys? And I just went, you know, for 10 or 15 minutes. And those moments, you know, you cannot take them back. So they're, they're sort of manifestations of these blessings. So again, like just thinking and counting you know, even in the hardest and the most difficult days, you know, five or 10 or 15, if you can get to 33, then, you know, all the more better. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and I'm certain that any, everyone, everyone can, if they count the smallest of blessings, especially, you know, I know uh, over here in, in, in New York City, it's pretty cold. Uh, it was really, really windy today. And these next several days are going to continue to get colder. But, you know, at least, alhamdulillah, like I have, you know, like a warm jacket and I have gloves and I have uh, yes, all of exactly. these things, right? Like, yeah. Even yeah. those tangible things are, are things that I should be thankful for when there are so many who don't have like those resources at all, you know? Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll ask you this, Sheikh, like what is the thing then that you are most thankful for, the number one or, you know, the one, two, three things in your life that you are in a state of gratitude for? Oh, being friend with you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's very nice well, of you. Honestly, having good friend around us, I think this is one of the be one of the most important blessings that, um, you know what? If we 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 don't recognize it before before losing it. And so I think one of the most important blessings in my life have been good friends around me, and uh, and it's 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 just 
it gives me a lot of hope, energy, and I'm looking forward to them just to call them. One of the main things that I'm missing these days, Chef, is that I'm not able no. to go to hug them, to kiss them, yeah. to yeah, hand, like, no. we, we, I was not thinking one day I will thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for shaking, being able to shake hands with people. And now I'm like, ya right. Allah, I'm so yeah. sorry that I did not thank you for that. Yeah, and, right. So, so I would say my friends, my friends, and uh, of course, before friends, it comes parents. Like, um, honestly, um, just one of the main thing that my, in my entire life I will be grateful for is is my mom and my dad of of being able to be content with me being here and them being abroad, them being. And in Iran, this was one of the most difficult things in my life that if they were not happy with me being here, I would definitely go back. But but I know it is difficult for them, but they are happy. They show that they are Razi. At least that's how I, I see it when they are talking. And I'm like, Ya Allah, this is the most important blessings that I have in my life. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Bless them and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala like if you have Amen. parents just um, just be as much as you are able these days to spend time with them virtually just calling them and 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 being around them you know like I, I think I think that's these these two are the most important blessings that I literally mm -hmm. see in my life mm -hmm. um, good teachers of course um, I don't know. The list goes on and on. Of course. There's so much they to be thankful for. Like, tell, you yeah. Tell me I, about yeah. No, thank you. I, I, I see a lot of people posting on the, on the comments as well. I, I was, as, as you were speaking and as, 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 I, as I saw some of the, the sisters and brothers noting down things in the, in the comments, I remembered famous du'a from Amma Sadr. He says, Alhamdulillah, alladhi arrafani nafsahu wa lam yatrukni amyan al qalb. All thanks and all praises due to you, O oh Allah, who has and given me the knowledge to know you um, and not made me um, blind, blind in the heart, meaning that you've exposed me to, to you. And by virtue of knowledge of God, the knowledge of the Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa the knowledge of uh, the Imams of Ahlul Bayt, peace and blessings be upon them, right? What a better blessing, um, what a better blessing than that. Uh, something more, you know, tangible uh, to your question. You know, I, think, I think like the blessing to, to serve, the blessing to do things like this, right? the opportunity to, to, to share with like members of the community. Like, you know, I have, you know, alhamdulillah, I feel like so blessed to have like a job where, you know, my life is about, you know, talking about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, right? And talking about the Quran and talking about Ahlul Bayt alayhi wa salam. Like what is, you know, as, as much as I need to sort of practice more what I preach and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive me for all my shortcomings. It's like a really, really great blessing to, you know, to be able to, to serve like in this way. So, you know, without a doubt, um, of course, like you said, family, parents, children, uh, and all of the day-to-day -day sort of tangible things that we have, mm -hmm. uh, without, with, you know, without a doubt, there, there's so much to be, um, there's so much to be in a state of gratitude and thankful and thankfulness for. So no doubt about it. Alhamdulillah. Wa Allah. I see the, uh, some of, uh, like one of us is writing Wilaya, the love of Ahlul Bayt and honestly that's one of the one of the greatest blessings that we have and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala increase the love Amen. of Ahlul Bayt in, in, in our hearts inshallah Amen. inshallah inshallah yeah Sheikh maybe uh, we, yeah go ahead uh, sorry go ahead I was gonna I, 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 I don't know if we had any more questions but I wanted to ask you sort of on a side note away from this conversation uh, what is your favorite um, Thanksgiving dessert maybe to conclude uh, <laughs> You know, Sheikh, I I was just talking with my wife and I was telling her, look, I for some reason I don't like turkey. What should I do? <laughs> For, forget the turkey. How about the dessert? Oh, the sweets. my God. Uh, well, if if baklava is available, I don't go. I I don't change it with anything else. Do you? Do you I mean, I'm, an, I'm yeah. I'm, I mean, I'm with Sheikh Mehdi over here. He just he just posted it in the in the comments. I'm like a pecan pie guy myself. So oh you need you you need to get into the um you know to the to the Thanksgiving spirit and enjoy all the all the assortment of 
traditional Thanksgiving dessert. Uh, exactly, right. No, no, no. I think I, we have customized it so much that it's not like, like the, yeah. It's not the traditional American Thanksgiving. Exactly, huh? exactly. Uh, I feel bad for you. Definitely try pecan pie <laughs> with uh, warm it up. Well, with send with some food. over. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> Inshallah, inshallah. Thank you so much, Sheikh, for having me. You're welcome. Uh, Sheikh, um, yeah. I just wanted to ask you, like, sure. yeah, we did talk about how we practice it for, um, for ourselves and how we kind of uh, practice being shocker in our daily life personally. But do you have any recommendation, any advice of how as parents or as uh, older brothers and sisters we can we can basically help our younger brothers and sisters or our kids to be thankful to practice shokr in their daily life any advice comes to your mind yeah i mean yeah absolutely i think that the first thought that comes to my mind is again like these more practical things that i need to do for myself right so literally you know naming those things right and and to and to you know my, my children are very very young they're five and three but I think that instilling that practice in them is actually more helpful to me than it probably is for them you know it becomes like a familial sort of opportunity for growth so when they're literally mentioning that I'm thankful to I'm thankful to Allah for my mom and for my dad or I'm thankful to Allah for mac and cheese or I'm thankful to Allah for milk or for ice cream or for the toys that they have or for the games that they have or for their you know that I let them play on the iPad for five minutes or 10 minutes or whatever it might be. I think that all of those uh, mentions by my children of you know, being in a state of gratitude for all of them um, allow for them to hopefully one day realize that there's so much more to be thankful for as well. You know? yeah. And that when they're mentioning it, if it you know, more than anything else, I would say that it humbles me you know, uh, in having that conversation with them because I realize that I'm, I'm not in a state of gratitude so much for the for so many things that I take for granted. When have I ever been thankful to Allah that I have, you know, a phone or that I have a laptop or that I have an iPad, you know? I've never been thankful to Allah ever for those things. But when they mention it to me, I realize myself. That's why I think that these these sort of activities or these conversations, you know, with those, you know, who are even younger than you, uh, to, 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 to your children, your sibling, with anyone really, um, allows for us to enter into a state of, you know, real sort of humility and, you know, humbleness in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, saying that, wow, like, I'm not, you know, I'm not like where I need to be in terms of demonstrating my gratitude. That's okay, because like today is a new opportunity for me to enter into a state of thankfulness, you know, to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is all a, all, all a long journey, you know, without a doubt. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is. It is. Yeah. Well, you know what? Talking about activity reminds me, reminded me something about that I do uh, with with my kids and and around the dinner table uh, uh, with family to kind of not only show them how to be shocker and grateful, but also to basically create an environment that we talk. Right, because I think that one of the main blessings that uh, we have and we should practice more and more is just the ability to have a meaningful conversation among the family members. So I kind of created this game that I call it plus two minus one. And uh, we go around the table and instead of asking like, uh, like Fatima, how was your school? Or Zainab, how was your school? Which is a boring question for, for everyone, right? right? So I ask, let, let's go around and do plus two minus one game, which is to talk about two good things that happened during your day and one bad thing or one thing that you could do better during nice. your day. And very nice. it's, it's, it's very interesting, Sheikh, that that I thought, like, I have been doing it, I mean, on and off, I have been doing it I think for three, four years. And it's, it's very interesting that very young kids are able to talk about and they talk about very detailed things that we never even mentioned. So, so, so they talk about two good things and then we say, Alhamdulillah, shukran lillah. And um, we, they also, I, I mean, I try to say one of my, my shortcomings to make it easy for them to, uh, mm -hmm. to 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 say and share some of the shortcomings that they had in their in their day, 
And I sure. think this has been a good practice that uh, that helped us as family to, uh, and me as father to be able to first practice it for myself and also being yeah. able to kind of create that environment of thankfulness and sharing in the family as well. Yeah, no, that's, that's really, really powerful. And sometimes when we make ourselves vulnerable to others, they become more open. And, you know, what better people to share that with than those you have dinner with every day, right? They're exactly. your closest to family members. Exactly. So, right. yeah, without a doubt. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Mulana, if you have any final thought to share it with us, I think we... Uh, we wanted to talk about like 50, 25 to 30 minutes and, and we are getting um, there and uh, I think we don't want to like um, just burden our... our uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> of course. No, no. Alhamdulillah. You know, I just maybe as a closing, closing reminder to myself before anyone else, again, there is, you know, there's so much to be grateful for, right? There's so many blessings that we are surrounded by uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And, um, you know, those practical things that we can do to demonstrate gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, even if it's by saying thank you to Allah or listing those out or reciting tasbih al-Zahra uh, and say alhamdulillah 33 times and think about those 33 things that we are thankful for, um, can all really go a long way in our spiritual growth. So, you know, thank you so much for, for having me and for this conversation. And hopefully, inshallah, we can sort of work toward instilling um, and practicing uh, gratitude in our in our lives, inshallah, um, with with tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa taala. I want to, Allah, I want to finish with Surah Al Kawthar, and the reason that I want to do so is that I believe when Allah subhanahu wa taala says Inna Ataina Al Kawthar, that kaf Ataina Ka, uh, we mm -hmm. have given you that you is not only Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa wasallam, it is all of us. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given kawthar, khair, blessings, huge blessing to all of us. So it's mm. just our responsibility to find the kawthar that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put in all of us. And then fasalli li rabbik. And then yeah. do, uh, thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for that kawthar. So I think that, that's, a, that's a reminder for shuk as well. So let's recite it together. And then by, by, yeah. by this surah, we'll end our conversation tonight. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنا أعطيناك الكوثر فصلي لربك وانحر إنا شانئك هو الأبتر السلام عليكم ورحمة الله السلام عليكم everybody it was very great to to be with you tonight إن شاء الله see you in our next program في أمان الله السلام في أمان الله